Hello everybody, this is Shadil Qassas, uh, physics teacher, Sharjah American International School. And today we're going to uh, present for a wonderful application that we can use in our classroom, which is Nearpod. You can watch this video uh, on our uh, YouTube channel, which is Shadil Qassas. You can type it on YouTube. And you can watch all of our recent videos here. So our program for today is Nearpod. Nearpod application is a wonderful application. You can use it um, uh, using any type of technology, any type of, mo of mobile, such as iPhone, iOS systems, iPad. And also you can use it in Android systems, such as the Galaxy tabs and your Galaxy phones, or, or Note 2 or Note 3. So you can use the application on your mobiles, Android or iOS systems. Also, you can use it uh, on your uh, laptop. So Nearpod also is uh, supported uh, by the Windows, Microsoft Windows. So let's go to Nearpod's website, which is nearpod.com. And this is the main interface. If you are a student, so you're going to join a session. If you are a teacher, so you need to log in. And this is the main website here. You can log in using your Google account uh, or you can use the Nearpod account. So you need to have your own Nearpod uh, account. Here I have an account already with my email. Um, so let's type the password. And here we go. And as you can see, this is the main interface of the website. Also, it's the same as the app that you can download from the App Store or the Play Store. So this is the same interface. I'm using my laptop and you can use uh, your uh, iPad or Galaxy tabs uh, and you will find the same interface. Uh, the interface, as you can see, is classified into main uh, sessions here. It depends on what you like to do. So my library is here. This It includes the presentations and the presentations here you can upload them uh, you can create them uh, you can use any online links online videos you can upload voice files uh, it's very interactive so these are the presentations that i have uploaded here so this is an example of the presentation uh, if you wanted to make a live session so you just click here and your students should be having their uh, connected iPads or iOS uh, or Galaxy uh, tabs ready, uh, connected to the internet. You just give them uh, this uh, pen, and then once they uh, get this pen, uh, you can share it using uh, an email. So you can just add your students' emails here, or you can share it in the classroom. So you can just tell them the, uh, the main pen, and they can type it. And this is my presentation. I can control the presentation from my interface and they uh, the, the presentation is shown in their uh, devices so I can control my presentations my slides here like that and I can explain the main topics here also um, I can go to different um, uh, presentations such as here this one I can make a quiz for them here the same session so this is an example of uh, some of the quizzes that you can they can have Basically, these are some results because this, this quiz had been made before. So uh, the, it shows you the, some uh, results here. By going to the main home page here, we can try something else, which is the store. And the store basically uh, has ready made presentations ne uh, made by the Nearpod team. It's, uh, basically, it includes many uh, wonderful presentations. Um, some of them are for free, some of them are paid, and um, even the paid ones are just for peanuts. You just pay maybe ten dirhams for uh, for a good uh, for a good uh, presentation. Um, 
go back here join if you are a student so if you wanted to join uh, a session you just type a pen here uh, and after join you can create you can create your own presentation as I mentioned before you can um, uh, put a new presentation and this new presentation could be by dragging any file any PowerPoint presentation any uh, video any voice file and you drag it here or simply you can start from scratch by uh, doing the presentation yourself doing the slides yourself from here you can drag you can browse your file you can get it from your Dropbox account and you can get it from box account which is also an online folder uh, online folder source you can upload your folders here and you can get that going back to home again and finally the, the last step here is for reports and the reports basically shows you the reports of your students the interactions of your students if you have made a certain quiz so you can show the results of your students by just clicking on the date and it shows you the uh, the, the answers uh, students participation here as a percentage as a chart here also it shows you the how many students they get uh, correct answers wrong answers no answers it shows you some uh, uh, interesting results about your students also it shows you uh, the detailed um, marks of the students with the students name this is the quiz that I have made for my students, so you can revise your questions, you can edit them. If you have had any open-ended questions, so open-ended questions uh, appear, uh, they appear here. If you have any drawing, also drawing problem, it appears here. Basically, this is one of the drawing problems that I had with my students, and also uh, it shows you how the students responded to this question. And this is the summary for the report. Another interesting feature here is that you can download the reports in many um, uh, many extensions such as PDF, uh, such as uh, um, uh, CVS, uh, CSV uh, files. Um, you can uh, also share the video, uh, share the results via email. You can just uh, type the email uh, of your uh, HOD, if a colleague, uh, if, if of a colleague, you can share the results with any of your colleagues or managers this is our session for today i really hope that it was uh, a good introduction to uh, nearpod technology this technology is uh, an amazing technology i've used it with my students and i i, I got lots of positive feedbacks it saves it saves time in the classroom and um, i believe that you are going to enjoy it using in the classroom please uh, comment my presentation if you like that uh, please comment and if you have any question i would appreciate that you post them in a comment to this presentation thank you very much